Hey, it's me, Gary. And um, I just want to tell you a few things about my channel. There will probably be some more songs of me singing. And if you don't like it, then don't watch. And if you do, then go ahead and watch. But uh, I might be talking about random things. Because I kind of like doing that. And... I have a lot of random things to talk about around here, especially kids. Kids say the weirdest things ever. I remember my nephew was about five or six, maybe seven. I don't know. And I was laying in here watching TV. And, because I had spent the night with my sister. And he was in his room, and all of a sudden he screamed, Aunt Tori! Which sets me. And I got up, and I went in there. I said, what's the matter? What's the matter? And he said, will I get pregnant? I had to stop myself from laughing because I really wanted to just bust out laughing. I was so confused. I was like, why do you think you'll get pregnant? He's like, well, I just wanted to know. And I was like, um, hmm, how do I do this? You're a boy. You're not going to get pregnant. <laughs> and he said, okay. And then he just went back to sleep. I returned in here and started watching whatever the heck I was watching, thinking, what is wrong with my nephew? Yep, that was one of the weirdest nights ever. <laughs> it's a bust out day door. So that was my mini heart attack. And then when I got in there, everything was fine. And uh, the funniest thing is when they start talking and they don't know that you can hear them, but you really can. And to be whispering and they say, it's not my turn, it's your turn. You got to go ask her. I don't want to ask her. She might say, no, you ask her. Which I remember doing this as a kid, but not where my mom could hear me. Like, okay, you go ask her. I don't want to go ask her. It's not my turn, it's your turn. Go. So finally one of them will come up there and be like, hey, can we spend the night? I don't care. That was easy. <laughs> and then, yeah. They just, they do the weirdest things. I'm like, don't do that. Second later, they're like swinging on top of something. What are you doing up there? Get down. Don't do that. And then I've said the weirdest things that I've never thought I'd have to say. My nephew was over here and he was about two. And he was sitting outside with his dad. And then I was in here doing something with my own baby. And all of a sudden he came to the door and just licked it. Like, straight up licked my, sh not screen, it's glass, my glass door. And I was like, don't lick the glass door again. I never thought I'd have to ever say that to anyone, actually. It's really random. Yeah. Usually I have to say, don't touch that, put that down, step away from it, don't poke that. And then my dog got ran over yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Oh, the day before yesterday. Anyways, and uh, by the bus, and the bus driver told me and everything, and I'm trying to figure out what I was going to do with the dog since, you know, my boyfriend wasn't home. And um, I needed some paper plates because I was cooking. So I asked my niece who I was watching because her mom was out of town for the the day. And I said, um, will you go get me some paper plates? And I sent my niece because she was the only one that I could trust that would not poke the dead dog with a stick. And sure enough, she came back and she went to the room and it was all quiet in here. And um, I heard one of my nephews say, did you poke her with a stick? I said, why would you poke the dead dog with a stick? And they said, to see if she's dead. I was like, obviously, if she's not moving, she's dead. And my other nephew's like, well, if she isn't breathing, it also means I was like, yeah, okay, you don't have to poke the dog with a stick. Since that's the only reason I sent her. I sent her. I don't remember poking dead things with a stick. Okay, maybe a few times. But it wasn't a dog. Or a cat. Or anything like that. It was like a mouse or something. I don't know that my dog killed. I don't know. But either way. It was just weird. Don't poke the dead dog. She didn't, by the way. She didn't poke it. That's why I sent her. Okay. Um, anything else weird that they have done over the past couple years? Hmm? I think that's it. Well, not actually. It, they have done a lot of weird things. But I can't come up with one right now. <laughs> there are some really random kids will shout 
random things, do weird things. I don't know. They're really good. And you get them all together, run. That's about it. Just run. Alright, so, yeah. That's my life. And if Sabrina, my cousin, so happens to watch this since she subscribed to me, I guarantee it was her. Then, yay. Shout out to you. I love you. Miss you. Can't wait for you to move down here. And, um, bye.